I'm Ali Tolbert, I'm Chief Executive of Green Synergy. Green Synergy is situated in the heart of the city of Lincoln, historic city, um, and immediately in our geographical area we are on the Tower Estate, which is in the north of Lincoln. Green Synergy is a gardening and social therapeutic horticulture charity. We're 10 years old this year and we support people across the city and in Lincolnshire and surrounding areas to socialise, learn and thrive through gardening and green nature connected activities. So our, one of our main areas is our what we call our event lawn, um, where we host a range of community events that's surrounded by beautiful herbaceous borders. We have our market garden and that's our predominant growing beds, uh, where we've got a whole range of um, beds dedicated to not only our projects, but also um, where we grow our vegetables that we give to the community um, and some of it we sell for donations. We're situated at the moment in our children's garden, which is our project for 2023. This has been co-produced and co-designed by the children and young people on our Tower Power project. Um, and you can see their handprints. We also have a peace garden. Um, that's a really quiet space right in the heart of the garden, um, surrounded and, and sheltered by beautiful eucalyptus trees. And we have a therapeutic garden as well. In the therapeutic garden we run quite a lot of our mental health projects um, that support adults um, who may be struggling and may be going through difficult times with their mental health and well-being and we provide programs in the garden for um, those individuals to help support their, um, their positive mental health. Within the garden as well we have a heritage orchard um, where we are bringing back heritage species and Lincolnshire species of fruit trees um, to create um, and improve the biodiversity as well on the garden. We have a polytunnel um, and then we have a 1.5 acre wilding and conservation area in the garden as well. The charity is 10 years old this year. Um, we were formed as a small gardening group by our founder Mary Hollis in 2012 and became a charity um, in 2013. So it's 10 years old of gardening focused on people and plants. The Hillside Garden, which is where we're standing today, um, and we also have another garden, a memorial garden called Ellie's Garden, but Hillside, uh, when we came on site in 2017, was absolutely thick brambles, bushes, um, hedgerows, um, and effectively, but most of all, it was thick bramble and bracket. Um, so we have cleared this and gradually created, through the incredible work of our Green Synergy staff members and volunteers um, and helpers, um, to create the garden that you see today. We are really trusted organisation in the Tower Estate. Um, so we don't only just do gardening as a charity, uh, we run a warm spaces through our charity office, we run a whole series of events for the community to actually, as they look after us, we look after them. Volunteers to us are the lifeblood of Green Synergy and we genuinely couldn't do what we do without them. Um, I think when we look at the range of volunteers that we have across the garden, whether that's our children and young people's volunteers for the projects, whether that's event volunteers or our garden volunteers, um, we do find that actually, number one, they love gardening. They have love being out in the fresh air and the green spaces, and they actually love seeing gardens grow and looking after the gardens. I think it's that community and that friendship. Uh, people have made friends here. Um, they've built those social networks. They've built those social support systems now because of their volunteering here. The future for us is um, very much ambitious. We want to develop the garden that you see today, Hillside Garden. We have just taken on a 25 year lease of Ellie's Garden, Memorial Garden, and we want to restore that and bring that back to um, its former beauty. We are also involved across the city with a number of other projects that will bring urban gardening to spaces that don't currently have any green space at all. So I think um, we want to reach more people, we want to support more volunteers and ultimately we want to support more people to um, socialise, learn and thrive.